This episode of Android Q&A is brought to you by Domain.com. So let's round up this rumor roundup and talk about the sexy, the sleek, the Sony Xperia Z4. All right, so you should all know how this works by now. I gave probable thumbs up, probable thumbs down, or just a eh, who really knows to the various rumors that have surfaced. Here we go. And let's start with the overall design. Aside from some leaked James Bond-like movie material that allegedly shows off the Sony Xperia Z4, there have been little concrete details about what to expect. That means you can expect a device that is generally waterproof, has front-facing speakers, and a metallic frame with metal power and volume buttons. Judging by the evolution seen within the Z3, we also hope to see the bezel shrink down once again, and one can dream at least. All right, I gotta riff off script here a little bit, cause this teased me off. What the heck is this Sony? And not just Sony, HTC and Samsung have done very similar things with cryptic ads. What is this? Is this supposed to suggest that the phone will perform well in low light conditions? What is this? Is this to suggest that the phone will render vibrant colors? If so, kindly say so. Get us excited about your features and benefits of your device. These cryptic ads mean Nothing. It's a lot like watching these trailers from video games, right? Where they show you nothing but cutscenes. They show you nothing but actual gameplay, giving you no valuable, meaningful information whatsoever. Come on. Save us from the cryptic ads. <sighs> I feel better. Let's move on to the display itself. When the first flagship started surfacing with 1080p resolution, everyone else quickly followed suit, making Full HD the standard when it came to flagship devices. So far it's unclear, however, if QHD will have the same level of impact. While we think it's pretty likely that Samsung will introduce the QHD to the Galaxy S6, the HTC One M9 is also rumored to be keeping a 1080p display. So what about the Z4? Well, it depends on who you ask. Some rumors claim the phone will offer the same 5.2 inch 1080p profile found on both the Z2 and Z3. Then again, there are also reports that Sony will jump up to the 5.5 inch and will introduce a QHD display. It's really too early to say which rumor is right, though perhaps Sony will increase the display this time around in order to give the Z4 a bigger boost in appearance when compared to the Z2 and Z3. Now again, take this leak with a grain of salt, but look at this photo right here. You notice that the lower bezel on this supposed Z4 is almost non-existent or very, very thin. And that's a big bonus for those of us who prefer one-handed operation because there's that much less of a distance for us to reach our content and apps. Well, I'd say if the phone stays at a 5.2 inch, that's a probable 1080p display. But if it does jump to a 5.5 inch display, they might go full out with some QHD, probable hopeful thumbs up. I have a big probable thumbs up for the uh, you know lower, thinner bezel on the bottom. That's just pure hope on my part. We have no other evidence to suggest it. Let's hope and see. Now let's talk about what most of you care about and that's the specs. Let's be honest, when you put the Z2 and Z3 side by side, it's sort of hard to tell the difference. Thankfully, the Z4 should finally give us a substantial update. There are a number of rumors floating around regarding the processing package Sony will utilize, with some saying it will offer a Snapdragon 805, the same chip as in the Galaxy Note 4. Other rumors claim Sony will offer up the 64-bit Snapdragon 810, the same chip that HTC and Samsung and LG are expected to introduce in their next-gen flagships. Every rumor is consistent in one area, however, and that's RAM. The Xperia Z4 is expected to feature three gigabytes of RAM. Rumors also suggest that the phone will come in 32 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte models, even possibly a 128 gigabyte model. Turning to battery life, rumors are a bit inconsistent. We've heard both a 3400 milliamp hour battery and a 3220 milliamp hour mentioned as possible sizes, but it's too early to say for sure. Now the only comment here is about storage capacity and what I think would be smart is if Sony gives us a default 32 gigabyte model and expandable storage up to 128 gigabytes. That would be great. Now let's talk about what I'm personally most excited about and that is the possible new sensor in the camera. Sony has been utilizing the same 20.7 megapixel IMX220 sensor since the Xperia Z1, so they are certainly due for an upgrade. While the new IMX230 sensor is expected to show up sometime in the future, it perhaps may not be ready for mass production in time for the Z4. 
So what does that mean for the fate of the Xperia's camera? Now I'm gonna give the new sensor a probable thumbs up, and that's because we've received some newer news regarding the possible release date for the Z4. Now you see originally we had expected that Sony would release the Z4 or at least announce it in or around the Mobile World Congress. But we've received recent reports just in the past day or so that Sony has decided to go back to a year long product cycle for the whole Xperia Z line. So that means that there will be more time for these features to be added to the phone. Now that's good news for those of us who want the new Xperia Z4 in the long run, not so much in the short term. So we should expect the phone to be released sometime later this year. So I've been thinking of getting the Hindi man a gift in the form of a domain name, because I can get really cool stuff that he'd like, like androidappguy.guru or androidapp.guru. I think he might like that. And I don't forget that domain.com is my one-stop shop for all my domain name and web hosting needs. And the guys at domain.com want to hook our viewers up with a great offer. You can save 15% off domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. Don't forget, 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. When you think domain names, think domain.com. You all know the drill by now, you're there. I'm right here on Google Plus and Twitter. You don't want to forget about my brothers, my brethren in Android. Josh Joan, the Tech Ninja, Kevin Lon, and Chris Gary Nash. All working real hard to deliver the best Android content on the web. I shall see you on the next Q&A.